Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on denudation. And remember you can check out more of our videos on our website examinvision.ie where you can get the whole junior cert and even cert geography course in small little video tutorials. So please do check them out. So first of all what is denudation? Well denudation occurs by three different things. It occurs by weathering, mass movement and erosion. So those three things make up denudation. So weathering, mass movement and erosion. So erosion, mass movement and weathering, those three combined make up denudation. So in simple terms denudation is just the process of breaking up and removing rocks that have been exposed to the Earth's surface. And they do that through weathering, through mass movement, and through erosion. One good little fact uh, for you guys to know is that denudation is greater today than it's ever been in, in historic times. About 20 billion tonnes of regolith are removed annually each year. And this is basically because denudation has been made easier, because it's been easier for uh, for weathering, mass moving and erosion, um, is it's much easier for these three processes to, to occur now because of all the deforestation that's taken place, because all the land is being changed um, because of human activity, because the like, land has been cleared, because crops, there's lots of crop farming and there's lots of overgrazing, which has enabled then weathering, erosion and mass movements to be much greater and this has caused lots of regolith to be removed. So we're going to look at each one of these now. So weathering, mass movement, erosion. And we're going to look at the differences between uh, each of these. So weathering is the breakdown and decay of rocks that are exposed to the weather. Okay, So it's when uh, rocks are, are, are broken down and decayed because they're exposed to the elements to the weather. And we do this through two ways. Through mechanical weathering and chemical weathering. Another one that I probably should note for you is uh, biological weathering as well. The next one I'm going to do is erosion, because erosion is very similar to weathering. There's just a slight difference, okay? So we said weathering was the breakdown and decay of rocks that's exposed to the weather, okay? Erosion is when the rocks are broken down and they're weared away, but they're actually removed from where they were, from where they once were, okay? So erosion is when there's a wearing away of the rocks and a removal of the material um, that was once there. So that's the difference between erosion and weathering. Weathering just breaks it down and decays it, where erosion actually breaks it down and, and removes the material. One thing to note is for erosion, there's four main things, like agents or causes that actually moves um, the the, the the material and that's because of moving uh, rivers because of moving waves in the sea because of moving ice and because of moving air with the wind the last one is mass movement and mass movement is the movement of loose material which we sometimes call regolith and um, down slope and it's the reason why it moves down slope is because it's under the influence of uh, gravity so mass movement is when material Loose material, regolith, is moved downwards because of the influence of gravity. There's two main uh, mass movement categories that you should know. The slow, this form of mass movement, is soil creep. And then there's very rapid and fast forms of mass movement like landslides or mud slides or avalanches. Okay, so there you have it. Now I'm just going to give you an example for each one of these as well. Um like I've given you for the mass movement, okay? Um, so with weathering, for chemical weathering, an example of this can be seen in County Clare in the Burren. For mechanical uh, weathering, you could see this in Yosemite, so in the USA. For bi uh, biological weathering, that's like, you could see that in most counties when like the roots come up through the road, okay? So you could say like County Mead, um, when the roots actually come up through the, the road. For erosion, that could be 
an example of like uh, a waterfall. So you could say torque waterfall in Clarny. For moving waves, that can just be um, any sort of waves. So you could say like the waves down in the hinge in County, County uh, Clare. For moving air, which is the wind, you could say that would be like the sandy desert in Death Valley in California. And for the moving ice, you could say that is the, the Valley Glacier in New Zealand. Okay, so they're just examples for each one of them. For mass movement, we said the slowest form of movement is soil creep. An example of that would be in uh, County Clare. And a rapid form of movement um, could be a mudslide. And an example of this would be Vargas State in Venezuela in 1999. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a quick one on denudation. Um, if you want more videos, please check out our website, examrevision.ie, where you can get lots of videos on geography, maths, and business for your, your junior and leaving certificate course. Thank you.